Hello, so I always feel super awkward starting these videos, but it's just going to be an empties chit chat today um, and I'll get straight into it. You know, typically if I don't like a product, it doesn't even make it through to the empties. I tend to pass it along, you know, pretty quickly. So everything that I've actually finished, you know, I feel like the comments will probably be mostly positive, but I'll try and give a balanced discussion as best I can. I'll start with the Airy Day Mineral Mousse. And I think this has appeared in every empties that I filmed here and probably on Instagram as well. Um, um, honestly, just my favorite sunscreen ever to the point that I just don't even bother trying new sunscreens anymore. This is just, it's just perfect for my skin. It is a zinc oxide sunscreen with some chemical boosters in there. Um, and zinc is just my preferred filter, not because of any like fear mongery clean beauty reason. It's just the filter that dries down the best. So I'm able to achieve like a soft matte finish. But of course that's not really helpful for deeper skin tones. So I guess the best advice that I can give when using a chemical sunscreen is just to have powder on hand and typically when I'm using a chemical sunscreen it just means that I have to powder a bit more thoughtfully and I probably apply like a blurring or pore filling primer and that also helps sort of mattify the sunscreen if you're not looking for a matte sunscreen though then you're in luck because nearly all of them are relatively glowy but for me personally I get a really natural matte leaning finish with this and it just keeps a really soft focus look to my skin throughout the whole day so I love it. Next is the Soltaire Lush Green Serum Body Wash. Again, I've gone through a few of these bottles throughout my empties. This scent was surprisingly like a huge hit. So normally I like the orange one. I can't remember the name, but I'll throw it up on screen. But this one has a really like fresh green scent. It reminds me of kind of green apples. It doesn't necessarily smell like apples directly, but it just gives me that vibe. But so yeah, if you just like really fresh, vibrant kind of green scents, um, highly recommend this. The actual body wash, as I've discussed before, is nothing like out of this world amazing. They're just like a down the line, good quality standard body wash that has a sort of mid strength lather. And another kind of body wash product is the Isis Pharma Urelia Gel. This is a 10% urea gel that's in a cleanser format. So I sometimes use it on my face, in my hair, on my body. It's just kind of the everything product whenever I'm sensing a little bit of dryness or dehydration anywhere. So scalp, face, body, I'll reach for this. It is fragrance free. It's a very standard gel texture. I'll mention that when I use it on my hair, it can make it feel a little bit straw-like after. So I try and limit that use to only when my scalp really needs the extra TLC. But otherwise, this is kind of a must-have product in my routine. I don't use it daily, sometimes not even for a few weeks. But it's just a product that I like to have in my routine, kind of in the cupboard so that I know that it's always there when I need it. Next is the Naturium Multipeptide Eye Cream. And I've gone through so many little tubes of this. Definitely one of my favorite eye creams ever. They have released the Multipeptide Serum, like face serum. So I actually gravitate towards that now. And because I don't really want to double, double up on products or the same type of product from the same brand, I, I usually now just run the serum up towards my eye area. But the serum is a little bit more of a milky emulsion texture. And some, sometimes my eyes just need a little bit more of an actual moisturizer. So I will definitely still reach for this at times. But um, I think I've got one tube left in backup. So I don't really see myself reaching for it after that anymore. Just considering I have the serum now as a replacement. And I've also been using the go-to retinol eye serum and another eye serum from a brand who sent me a lab sample that I'm obsessed with. So I'm definitely in my eye serum era, <laughs> era, um, not so much creams. And so I'll apply an eye serum and then just drag my moisturizer up towards my eye area to kind of seal it in. Next is the Alpha Rage Melting Moment Cleansing Bar. This was in a limited edition scent, the Davidson Plum. Um, so it did have a little bit more of like a, oh, there's a little bit <laughs> like, left in there. This, the texture of this I actually really enjoy. It's probably one of the better formulated balms out there. It applies really nicely and breaks down into an oil really easily on the skin. And I love that it does emulsify to a milk very easily and it rinses very well as well. So tick, tick, tick in that way. My only kind of downside or comment on this is that it does start off as a little bit more of like a solid balm when you buy it. But then the more you use it, it's like the structure of the balm begins to break 
down in the tub and it turns into this like soft sludge by the time you get towards like the last quarter of it. That's not a deal breaker. It's just, it means that you don't really get the full sensation of applying a solid balm turning into an oil then emulsifying because it's already kind of broken down in the jar by the time you get around to using it up. This particular fragrance was quite enjoyable. It had a mild berry scent, not, nothing artificial. And yeah, I enjoyed it. I think they should make this particular one a permanent part of the line. They have moved on to like a green, I can't remember the scent, a green version. I don't like the smell of that one nearly as much as I like this one. So I'd go for the original or the Davidson Plum if you see it around. Next is the Naturium Salicylic Acid Body Spray. I don't tend to need like salicylic acid in my body routine that regularly, but every now and then, you know, breakouts pop up and that particular dispenser is really effective because you can spray like holding the can in weird directions and it still works really well. The texture is a little bit on the oily side, a lot like some of the salicylic acid toners out there. I'm um, certainly not a deal breaker. It absorbs relatively well after it's, you know, sat on the skin for a few moments. I think I just prefer having some of the Strident pads on hand when I need salicylic acid for my body because it's such a value pack. Um, yeah, so this was a good product, but you know, again, nothing that memorable. Next is the Guerlain, forgive my pronunciation, but next is the Guerlain Abbey Royale Shampoo. Um, this was actually an awesome shampoo. It's just so expensive. I don't even know what possessed me to buy it in the first place. Sometimes I feel like honey is just such a draw ingredient for me. And the Guerlain range, you know, they're known for having nice fragrances and this one did smell really nice. The shampoo was great and the conditioner in the series is also awesome. But as I've discussed before with hair care, now that Beyonce has Sacred, I can't see myself really using anything else from now on. So this was good, too expensive, I would not rebuy. But if you're in the luxury market for a hair product, I think these are really good quality options. Oh, and I did want to highlight as well, the pump on this was outstanding. I don't know why it works so much better than a lot of other hair pump bottles out there, but there's something about the height and the satisfaction of getting like a really good like pump put out of it. Um, so I really love that. And I kind of wish more brands adopted a pump like this. Next is the Uriage Uriage Cleansing Cream. So this was an interesting product because it's a cleansing cream kind of targeting oily or congestion prone skin. A lot of cleansing creams out there really just target dry sensitive skin. So it was nice to see a variation on that. This ended up having a little bit more of like a foaming action. So it's kind of cream to lather, not like a true, true cream cleanser. Um, it worked really well. The scent though is quite generic. It just smells like a standard floral. So I didn't kind of love that from a sensorial experience, but it cleaned really well. It wasn't too drying. I predominantly used it in the shower and my skin was feeling a bit more congested than normal. So I liked it, but I don't think I would rebuy it. It just didn't stand out in any noticeable way. Next is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Foaming Cleanser. And this contains sulfur, which is one of my favorite ingredients. And I think one of the more underrated ingredients in skincare. So sulfur just works really well for like congestion, redness, rosacea, like a whole bunch of skin conditions. It's just very smelly. So I think that's why a lot of brands don't use it. Um, this cleanser is really great. It has almost like a shaving foam texture and then it lathers and foams quite abundantly. It can be a little bit drying if I overuse it. So this was very much like an every now and then type of cleanser for me, just when I was going through periods of like congestion and breakouts a little bit more aggressively. Um, these days I probably tend to prefer using sulfur in a wash off mask or in like a lower dosage in a serum. So again, I don't see myself reaching for this one, but if acne, breakouts, congestion, rosacea, especially rosacea, acne, um, I think this is a great product to explore and a really good release from Kate Somerville. Next is the Naturium The Softener Clay Body Wash. Um, I'm a big fan of Naturium's body washes. This one was not my favorite, my, probably my least favorite or one I actually don't like at all from their range. Um, it's just the texture was a little bit odd. It was a little bit like using a clay mask on your body. So I didn't really get like a cleaning sensation from it. You know, I didn't hate it. I did use up the, I did use up the entire bottle. So it was fine because it does end up lathering. So you do then get that wash effect from it. But yeah, just the initial texture, it didn't really make sense to me. I didn't get it. I didn't feel like it was doing a good enough job where I felt like 
clean and refreshed after leaving the shower and that's just the feeling that I want so yeah this this one is a little bit puzzling I, I would not personally get it again I don't really see where it would fit in someone's body care routine at all and I think Naturium just has way better body washes out there next up is the Naturium the Energizer body wash and this one features mandelic acid and it has a bit of a menthol kick in it as well um, probably one of my favorite body washes from Naturium I know the menthol thing is a bit of a like love it or hate it kind of vibe for some people um, and I think it's especially a good one to consider in spring summer because they call it the energizer and it does have a very energizing kind of zingy uplifting formula so I think this is a great one to use in the morning maybe after the gym or if you're just feeling a little bit extra icky that day um, the lather is just really all-encompassing it feels great the menthol makes you know your body tingle a little bit um, so all great things just as long as you're kind of in the mood Mood for that um, the other thing is the other thing that I really like about this is it has a minty slash citrus scent so that also smells very vibrant and energizing and yeah I think it's one of their best but probably a little bit more seasonal I guess I would think of it like maybe the glow getter is more appropriate for autumn winter and then the energizer would be a great one for spring summer Next is the Lisa Eldridge Treatment Cleanser. Now I have a dedicated video for this cleanser and I basically ended up using it as a leave-on mask, usually before showering. So it has a gel to oil texture. So I think it's sometimes known as a D-phase cleanser. So it starts off as a gel, becomes an oil, then emulsifies into a milk. This one leaves a little bit more of a protective veil on the skin. So I found it a little bit too difficult to use every night in the evening just cause it really requires a flannel or cloth, like cleansing cloth to do a full removal. And I just don't really have time for that in the evening but it has such nice like cleansing, purifying, calming ingredients in there that I think it worked really well as a leave-on mask. And part of the claims of this product is that it can be used as a mask and that's very much how I preferred using it. So I think I'll eventually pick this up again, but I'm just sort of waiting to see what Lisa will release as part of her skincare line moving forward. I'm not sure if she's planning other cleansers, but I'd very much be interested to see what else she has coming out. Another Naturium body product is the Smoother Glycolic Acid Lotion. They do have a matching wash for this, but this is the body lotion specifically and it has a really like thick, creamy texture. Um, but it absorbs well without leaving any noticeable residue. And glycolic, I think, is a great ingredient to have in body care just to help with refinement and smoothing. So I think I already have one in backups already, so I'll definitely continue using this. I actually hope that they bring out maybe a mandelic acid body cream at some point to go with the Energizer with that fragrance because that's probably the only thing that I'm missing from a lot of the Naturian body products is just a little bit of a fragrance hit that I specifically want in body. Like this, I do have another one in backups, but I'd prefer something with fragrance, so I hope they have that coming soon as part of their other line. As far as efficacy goes, this has gentle exfoliation, like I don't really notice anything extreme with it, um, so I think it would be totally fine to use daily, just in case you're worried about that. Next up is the Biologique Face Mist. So I actually bought this to use on the plane, um, ended up just leaving it at home to use it as a general skincare mist, because I loved it so much. Um, the mister is amazing, like I don't know what magic they've actually put into this like mist mechanism but the way that it just lands on my skin feels amazing it's the perfect weight not too fine but definitely not aggressive um, whether I noticed like an abundance of results from it probably not I did feel like it was hydrating and maybe even I did feel like it was hydrating and maybe even mildly clarifying but this mist is so expensive I don't really understand how they arrived at this price point so it might be something that I'd buy again as a treat you know <laughs> once in a while but it's not so amazing to warrant the price. You know, if it was half the cost, even like this probably needed to be like three quarters of what it costs for me to have it in my routine regularly, just cause a mist in general is very much like an optional category. Next is the Decorte Snow Clarifier, which is like a gel to water toner. So it kind of pumps out as a clear gel and then, and then bursts on your skin as like a watery fluid. So this ended up being really hydrating. I love the fragrance of it. The reason I got this to try is cause it's supposed to be like a refining gel and although I really enjoyed the texture and the burst of hydration it gave I wouldn't say that it compared to something like the Sulwasu First Care. So Sulwasu at least has an abundance of antioxidants in there plus it's mildly refining so at least I know when I'm using that product it has more of like a serum quality to it. This I wouldn't say was effective enough for me to keep reusing although I enjoyed it while I had it if that makes sense. 
I think if you're somebody who can't tolerate acids or other forms of exfoliating, then it could be that the Snow Clarifier is something to explore potentially. And the last product I've got here is the Super Egg Phyto Bounce, which is an eye gel. This is packed with ingredients. Like there's just so much stuff in here. It's truly like an eye serum. So I really enjoy the texture of this because it starts off as a gel and then when you apply it, it kind of bursts on the skin. Um, that's known as a water burst, I think, in terms of like formulation. So you get this kind of freshness immediately that lands on the eye. And then my eye contour feels very smooth and silky for the rest of the day. The ingredients are also awesome. There's just so much in here to make it a truly targeted eye serum product. And I absolutely love using this. I mainly reach for this one when I have a little bit of eye fatigue or I feel like my eyes are looking tired. So I wouldn't reach for this necessarily every single day. I have a few, of, I have a couple of other products that I consider a little bit more anti-aging, but I, I love this. I think I have bought two, they sent me one. There's just, there's definitely been several in rotation. So I highly recommend this, especially if you're looking for something for puffiness or to help with tired eyes. That's the end of this empties video. I'm sure I'll have another one coming up pretty soon because I can already see on the counter in front of me a lot of products that I only have like a quarter left in them. So yeah, let me know if you've got any questions. Again, I never know if I explain things well enough. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at sandbythecounter and I will see you in the next video.